A pleasant day to everyone. I will be discussing the four main types of quantitative research design. For research designs in a quantitative method, first, we have the descriptive research. This describes the current status of a variable at a given period of time and space. It is designed to provide systematic information about a phenomenon. One example of a descriptive research design is gathering an information about the description of how second grade students spend their time during summer vacation. The second type of quantitative research design is the correlational research. This tries to attempt to determine the extent of a relationship between two or more variables using statistical data. In this type of design, relationships between and among a number of facts are sought and interpreted. This research shows the relationship between variables by tracing direct proportionality or inverse direction. For instance, an increase in intelligence is an increase in self-esteem. Other examples are the relationship between diet and anxiety, and aptitude tests, and success in algebra. The third one is causal comparative or quasi-experimental research. This attempts to establish cause and effect relationship among variables. These types of design are very similar to two experiments but with some key differences. Identified control groups exposed to the treatment variables are studied and compared to groups who are not. When analysis and conclusions are made, determining causes must be done carefully as other variables, both known and unknown. Examples of causal comparative researches may include the effect of preschool attendance on social maturity at the end of the first grade, the effect of taking multivitamins on a student's school absenteeism, or it can also be the effect of gender on algebra achievement. Lastly, we have the experimental research or true experimentation. It uses the scientific method to establish the cause and effect relationship among a group of variables that make up a study. The true experiment is often thought of as a laboratory study, but it is not always the case. A laboratory setting has nothing to do with it. A true experiment is any study where an effort is made to identify and impose control over all other variables except one. They can have two groups, which are called control and experimental group. Examples of experimental research includes the effect of a new treatment plan on the breast cancer. You can also have the effect of positive reinforcement on attitude towards school. Or you can compare cooperative group strategy and traditional lecture method approach. Thank you so much for listening.